greeting children this video lesson is for cbc class 11 students the name of the lesson is browning version written by terence rightigan it's a one act play only four characters are in it but in reality only three of them appear on the stage the fourth character we learn through the comments and dialogues of other three characters from the play the fourth character he never appears in the play but the play is on him he is the central character he is the protagonist of the drama he is a middle-aged school master his relationship with one of the students from a fifth forum is the central theme of the drama he is so strict he is a man of principles yet he is loved by his pupils he won the respect and the affection of his children that really wonders that really shocks the other master and he enquires what has the master has in him to make that much effect on the children the play also discusses several other moral problems how it should be the relationship between the colleagues in an educational institute the relationship between a pupil and a teacher and a student and the school several moral questions the writer asks in this little drama now let us go and learn the drama completely the browning version the title browning version means it is robert browning's translation of the greek tragedy agamemnon aeschylus's agamemnon and robert browning translated this greek tragedy into english that is the title used here the browning version by terence rattigan come to the play this is an excerpt from the browning version the scene is set in a school frank is young and crocker harris middle-aged both are masters taplo is a boy of 16 who has come in to do extra work for crocker harris but the latter has not yet arrived and frank finds taplo waiting so this drama takes place in a school well two masters one is frank he is a young teacher there and another one is crocker harris he is a middle-aged master and one boy is there his name is taplo he is 16 years old he is waiting for Crocker Harris, his master, to do some extra work. This is the situation in which the play starts. Look at the first dialogue. Do I know? Which means, I know you? The boy said, No, sir. What's your name? Frank, the teacher, the young teacher, asked him, what was his name? Taplo, he said. Frank, Taplo? No, I don't know. You are not a scientist, I gather. 
scientist is one who studies science one who pursues the science stream he called in a funny way like scientist i gather you are not a science student tap close it no sir i am still in the lower fifth he is still in the lower fifth division he said i can't specialize until next term so he can specialize his subject he can choose his streams of subjects only after the next term that is to say if i have got my remove all right and that even possible only if he gets his remove remove here means look at promotion so he is waiting for his promotion from the lower fifth to the next stream so his specialization in streams is possible only after he gets his remove then frank don't you know if you have got your remove that even you don't know whether you will get your remove or not then taplow said no sir mr crocker harris does not tell us the results like the other masters now the boy says about his master crocker harris a special characteristic of crocker harris he compares crocker harris with the other masters of the school other masters they will declare the results before the actual date of declaration of the results but crocker harris is not like that so he says that his master crocker harris he does not tell them the results like the other masters come to the next page then frank asked why not taplow well you know what he is like sir what he is like sir so us both belong to the same school they know each other frank and crocker harris and taplow so the boy said he need not explain why it was so because frank knew very well who crocker harris was so he does not want to explain it further he said then frank i believe there is a rule that form results should only be announced by the headmaster on the last day of term so that is the rule that frank remembered he recollected the rule of the school that the form results should only be announced by the headmaster and that even on the last day of the term till then it could not be disclosed that is the rule of the school he recollected his knowledge then taplow yes but who else pays attention to it except mr crocker harris but who pays attention to it except that word is very important except mr crocker harris so crocker harris is entirely different from the other group of teachers the other crowd of teachers he is entirely different then frank i don't i admit but that is no criterion i don't i admit frank himself says that he admits that he does not keep the results till the end of the term but that is no criterion but that is not the criterion but that is not the principle but that is not the rule there 
So you have got to wait until tomorrow to know your fate. Have you? So as according to the criterion of the school, you have to wait till tomorrow, isn't it? Who asked? The master Frank asked Taplow. Then Taplow replied, Yes, sir. Yes, I have to wait till tomorrow to know my fate, whether I get my remove or not. So I have to wait till tomorrow, the boy said. Then Frank, supposing the answer is favorable. Favorable here means you get a remove, you get a promotion. Then what? What then? Frank asked. Then Taplow said, Oh, science, sir, of course. No doubt, sir, I want to join in your class, science. He said, Oh, science, sir, of course. Then Frank. Immediately, the face of Frank get the sad look. He said, Yes, we get all this lackers. Usually we get only such students. Those are slackers. Look at the meaning of the word slackers. Idlers or lazy bonds or loafers. Lazy people only we get to study science. That is Frank's complaint. According to his judgment, this tableau belongs to that lazy bones. So he commanded like this. Then Taplo. Taplo in a protesting tone said, I am extremely interested in science, sir. I am not like the other students. I am extremely interested in science, sir, he said. Then Frank, are you? I am not. Not at least. In the science I have to teach. Then Frank exposed his uninterest in science. Actually he said that he was forced to teach science. He had no interest in it, he said. Look at that. Next tableau. Well, anyway, sir, it is a good deal more exciting than this muck, indicating his book. Then the boy said, Well, anyway, sir, it is a good deal more exciting than this muck. Muck here means the dirt, the rubbish, or waste, or mess. Some unpleasant thing. It is far exciting, far interesting than this unpleasant book. He indicating the book in his hand. Then Frank asked, what is this book? In his own language, in the child's own language, the master asked him, what is this book? What is this book? What is this rubbish thing? What is the unpleasant thing you have with you? Then Taplo said, Aeschylus, sir, the Agamemnon. Aeschylus's Agamemnon, sir. It's actually the Robert Browning's version of Aeschylus's Agamemnon, the Greek classical tragedy, he said. Then Frank, and your considered view is that the Agamemnon is muck. Do you think that Agamemnon, the Greek classical drama, the tragedy, is a muck, a rubbish thing? Do you think like that? An unpleasant thing? Then Taplow. Well, no, sir. I don't think the play is muck. Oh, don't consider it like that, sir. The play is not at all muck, not at all unpleasant. Exactly. I suppose. In a way, it is rather a good plot. Actually, the play has a good plot. The story 
the events the dialogues everything together we called the plot it has a very interesting plot sir really a wife murdering her husband and all that the central plot of the story is a wife murdering her husband and all that the husband had went away for a war and after many years he won the won the battle and came back to his kingdom meanwhile his wife the queen married another man and she was leading a second life in the kingdom so she wanted to avoid her husband before entering her kingdom she did it this is the story of the play agamemnon he said it has a wonderful plot sir he said and all that i only meant the way it is taught to us but i only meant the way it is taught to us it's very boring his master crocker had used to teach this play and the way it is taught he does not like just a lot of greek words strung together and 50 lines if you get them wrong then he goes in the details of the teaching method just a lot of greek words strung together a lot of greek words the play the dialogue has sometimes 50 lines at one stretch if you get them wrong and you have the possibility of getting wrong information so this is what he does not like he said frankly then frank you sound a little bitter taplo but i think that you sound a little bitter taplo a little uninterested in things i suppose taplo i am rather sir i am rather sir not like that sir then frank captain hmm look at the meaning of the word captain made to overstay for some reason it's a way of punishment captain students as making them to do something to overstay that is kept in are you captain for he asked taplo no sir extra work no 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 it is not captain i am actually here for extra work that is another punishment extra work maybe a little bit uh, lower in grade than captain that's why he corrected the master not captain but he has to do some extra work frank extra work on the last day of school you are here for extra work frank could not believe his senses whether any master could give a student extra work on the last day, on the closing day of the school so he wonders extra work then taplow yes sir and i might be playing golf actually this is the time for me to play golf i might be playing golf if i am not have to come here you would think he would have enough to do anyway himself considering he is living tomorrow for good sir you may think that the master crocker harris would have a lot of thing to do for himself because he is living the school for tomorrow but oh no i missed a day last week when i was ill 
Do you know why I was asked to do this extra work? Because I couldn't attend one class in the last week because I was so ill. So I couldn't attend one of his classes. That was why he called me for this extra work on the closing day of the school, he said. So here I am. So here I am. And look at the weather, sir. Look at the weather, sir. What a beautiful weather. I might be playing golf in the ground now. But because of our strict master Crocker Harris, I have to be here. Bad luck. Still there is one comfort. It's a bad luck. Still there is one comfort for you. You are pretty well certain to get your remote tomorrow. Then you are pretty well certain. You are sure of getting your remote tomorrow for being a good boy in taking extra work. So the benefit for you is as you are going to do the extra work, you will definitely get your remove tomorrow. That is the only assurance that you can have. Then Taplo said, Well, I am not so sure, sir. I am not so sure as you have. I have no surety, sir, he said. That would be true of the ordinary masters. What you have said, it could be true with the other masters, other ordinary masters, but my master is not an ordinary fellow, he said. All right. They just wouldn't dare not to give a chap a remove after his taking extra work. Other masters, and they just wouldn't dare. And they never keep the remove of a chap who would do some extra work. That is the general concept about master's students relationship. But this master is something different, sir. But those sort of rules don't apply to the croc. But those sort of rules don't apply to the croc. Now the boy Taplo used the nickname of Mr. Crocker Harris as the Croc. Here we have to remember one thing that whenever a student speaks about a teacher to another teacher, he should be very polite and respectful about his master. The normal courtesy requires that whenever we should speak about a teacher, we should use Mr. or Miss or Mrs. along with the name of the teacher. But instead of using that, the boy called, addressed the master with his nickname, the croc. But immediately he corrected it, Mr. Crocker Harris. Because within him, he was aware of the politeness, the respect he is supposed to give to his master. Because he is aware that the dignity of a teacher should not be lowered in front of others. That's why he immediately changed his address like Mr. Crocker Harris. I asked him yesterday outright if he had given me a remove and do you know what he said sir the same thing the boy asked the master yesterday and he gave him a reply do you want to hear his reply sir then frank no what no one reply he gave you tell me frank is not promoting the speech of chaplo he wanted to know tell me what? Then Taplo, imitating a very gentle, rather throaty voice. Immediately, Taplo 
started mimicking the throaty voice of that master mr crocker harris as a reply mr crocker harris told him my dear taplo i have given you exactly what you deserve no less and certainly no more this is the imitation of the voice of mr crocker harris mr crocker harris told him that he will give him mark exactly what he deserves not more and not less this is what the master told him do you know sir i think he may have marked me down rather than up for taking extra work according to taplow his master crocker harris is going to mark him down rather than giving any extra mark because of he is forced to do the extra work i mean the man is hardly human so this man is hardly human no such a sentimentality of humans normal humans we can't see in mr crocker harris he said he breaks of quickly then he quickly stopped his saying sorry sir have i gone too far then he realizes himself that he has said something unsuitable to the situation so he apologizes sir have i gone too far then frank said yes much too far not just you gone much too far then taplow said sorry sir i got carried away got carried away here means too much excited to keep on self in check i am so much excited so i couldn't control myself he said that's why he imitated his master and ridiculed him in such a way he said then frank evidently he picks up a newspaper and opens it then frank for a few seconds he turns to a newspaper and opens it and started reading it after that er taplo taplo yes sir what was that crocker harris said to you just uh, repeat it would you here frank wanted to hear the imitating voice of that crocker harris he promotes the child to repeat the mimicking voice of crocker harris he wanted to listen that throaty voice of crocker harris through taplow then taplow imitating again my dear taplow i have given you exactly what you deserve no less and certainly no more the throaty voice he repeats for frank frank looking severe now he looking a little bit severe not in the least like him finally he comments that what you have imitated not in the least like crocker harris he does not want to promote this mimicking tendency of teachers by students that's why he stopped it not in the least like him I read your nice eskilus and be quiet better you keep quiet reading your book and standing there till your master comes frank advises him taplow with a dislike eskilus i want to read eskilus this one frank look 
What time did Mr. Crocker Harris tell you to be here? Then Franga asked after a short while. At what time you are supposed to be here as according to Mr. Crocker Harris? Franga asked Taplow. Taplow said, 6.30 sir. I am asked to come here at 6.30. Frank, well, he is 10 minutes late. Why don't you cut? It's already 6.40, then why don't you cut? Cut means to run away or avoid. Why don't you cut? You could still play golf before lockup. Still time is there to play a game of golf. Why don't you go and engage in the game? You have enough time. Because you have already reached here on the appointed time. It is not your fault. You can go and engage again in the golf court. Then Taplo, really shocked. Oh no, I couldn't cut, cut the crook. Mr. Crocker Harris? Again he called his master by his nickname. But immediately he rectified it, Mr. Crocker Harris. And he revealed that I couldn't cut Mr. Crocker Harris's class. He was so strict and STEM teacher. He couldn't cut his class. I shouldn't think it is ever been done in the whole time he has been here. So whatever time he has been teaching here, no student of him ever cut his class. If somebody do it, God knows, God knows what would happen if I did. Then the after result of cutting his class that only God knows. He would probably follow me home or something. The next day he would follow the student or me to the home. And something like that would be the result of cutting his class, bunking his class. So one word we can use cut is bunk, bunk the class. That will be the result, he said. I must admit, I envy him the effect he seems to have on you boys in the form. You all seem scared to death of him. What does he do? Beat you all or something? Then Frank, the master, admits the respect and the scare the students have on Mr. Crocker Harris. And he asked Taplow whether the master used to beat them or something like that, some punishment. He wanted to know what secret behind that fearful respect, the scaring of students of Crocker Harris's classes. He wanted to know. Then Taplow said, Good Lord, no, he is not a sadist. Sadist here means one who finds pleasure in giving pain to others. That is sadist. He is not a sadist, sir. Like one or two of the others. One or two other teachers in our school are sadist, but he is not a sadist, sir. So here on was Taplow's real respect that started revealing about his master. So one thing that the play tells us that even though the teachers, some teachers are so strict, so stem in their rules and principles, they also will be respected and even the strict persons can win the affection and respect of students if he is man of principles. This is what we can see from this section of the play. He is not a sadist like one or two of the others.
He is such a man, sir. Then Frank said, I beg your pardon. I couldn't get what you said now. He asked Taplo. A sadist, sir, is someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain. That is a sadist. Someone who gets pleasure out of giving pain. Then Frank, indeed? But I think you went on to say that to some other masters. But you telling me that some other masters, they are sadist. Then Taplo, well, of course, they are, sir. I won't mention names, but you know them as well as I do. Yes, sir. I need not mention their names as I know you two know it. I need not name them. Who are they? Of course, I know most masters think we boys don't understand a thing. Yes, this is the common mistake with the teachers. They think that we boys, we don't know anything. But that is a misconception. But sir, you are different. But you are not in that category, sir. You are different. You are young. Well, comparatively, anyway. And you are science. But you are something different, sir. Look at the way in which Taplow uses the situation. Just in front of that Frank, he boasts him. And he is young and he is not at all sadist. He is not in the group of the sadist teachers. And moreover, he is a science teacher. You must know what sadism is. So you really know what sadism is, he said. Then Frank, after a pause, Good Lord, what are our schools coming to? This is a self-revelation expression. What are our schools coming to? This expression coming from Frank, when Taplow revealed that there are some other masters who, who are sadist that Frank never expects. That's why he commanded what are our schools coming to? So that is an unexpected remark from one of the students from his own school that he cannot accept. Look at the next tableau. Anyway, the clock is not a sadist. That is what I am saying. So anyway, sir, our master, the crock, now he got the license to call Mr. Crocker Harris as the crock. The crock is not a sadist. That is what I am saying. He would not be so frightening if he were. Because at least it would show he had some feelings. But he would not be so frightening if he were. So he would not be so frightening if he were. If he were sadist, he would not be so frightening. Because at least it would show he had some feelings. He would never show that he had some feelings in him. Not even sadism or any kind of feeling that he never showed before the form. Never showed before the students, the class. But he hasn't. Because he hasn't any particular feeling. He is all shriveled up. He is a man who shriveled up all his feelings. Shriveled up means shrunken or kept in secret or minimized in his mind. He never revealed, he never show his feelings to the outer world, to the form, to the students, to the pupils before him. He shriveled up everything inside his mind. Like a nut, 
he seems to hate people to like him this is another characteristic of crocker harris he seems to hate people to like him he never likes being liked by others if some student shows some likeness towards him or extra respect towards him he does not like it he will stop it the very moment he notices it he seems to hate people to like him it's funny but actually that character is funny that i don't know any other master who does not like being liked because no other master i have ever seen that he does not like being liked being liked by others but crocker harris does not like that he seems he does not like being liked by others this is another peculiar characteristics of mr crocker harris this is the valuation of that tableau then frank and i don't know any boy who does not use that for his own purposes and i don't know any boy who does not use that all boys use this technique for his own purposes not a boy in the school that who does not use that which means everyone will use this technique for his own purposes that they show they love each and every master there this technique every student in the school use for their own purposes tableau well it is natural sir that's natural sir but not with the crock but that is not possible with the crock but if we show any such intimacy with crocka he does not like it sir then frank mr crocker harris this is the second time he used without correcting the nickname the crock then frank corrupted him mr crocker harris then tapelo immediately corrupted himself mr crocker harris the funny thing is that in spite of everything the funny thing in his character is that sir in spite of all this i do rather like him this is the strange thing i do rather like him in spite of all these shortcomings according to tapelau even he likes the master i can't help it and there is no other way he can't help it he can't remain loving the master that is a natural way of loving the strict master tapelau said and sometimes i think he sees it and that seems to shrivel him up even more and sometimes i think he sees it sometimes the master notices my respect my respectful love my respectful likeness my respectful affection towards him and he sees it and that seems to shrivel him up even more and as he notices it he wants to shrivel him up more he wanted to move away from me more then frank i am sure you are exaggerating yes no frank said i am sure that you are exaggerating things it is not be practical at all frank said then tapelau no sir i am not i am not exaggerating in form the other day he made one of his classical jokes to make it clear tapelau said one of the incidents happened in the class the other day in the form the other day he made one of his classical jokes while teaching his 
Greek and Latin textbooks he made one of his classical jokes in the classroom of course nobody laughed because nobody understood it but what happened was no student in the class could understand what he said so nobody laughed and myself included i too was there i couldn't understand what was that joke it still i knew he had meant it as funny but i knew he had meant it funny for a joke so i laughed but taplow understood that his master crocker harris made or cracked a joke in the class a classical joke but no other student could understand it out of ordinary common politeness he laughed to promote the master spirit out of ordinary common politeness and feeling a bit sorry for him for having made a poor joke so he laughed in the occasion out of ordinary common politeness at the same time he had the feeling that his master cracked a poor joke now i can't remember what the joke was but suppose i make it but now i forgot what the joke was actually but if i make it now you laugh sir you will definitely laugh sir if i make it then hearing this frank laughs taplow in a gentle throaty voice taplow you laughed at my little joke i noticed i must confess that i am pleased at the advance your latin has made since you so readily have understood what the rest of the form did not perhaps now you would be good enough to explain it to the form so that they too can share your pleasure again that taplow imitated his master crocker harris's voice he said you are the only one laughed with my joke which means that you have advanced in your latin he made he cracked the joke in latin so you should have advanced in your latin no other student in the class could understand it so for enjoying making others enjoy the joke please repeat that joke here this is what crocker harris demanded from taplow now the door upright is pushed open and the milly crocker harris enters this is the third character presenting in the drama that is milly crocker harris crocker harris's wife she is a thin woman in her late 30s rather more smartly dressed than the general run of school masters she was in her 30s and a thin woman dressed very smartly she is wearing a cape look at the picture the overcoat like thing is a cape and it carries a shopping basket she closes the door and then stands by the screen watching taplo and frank it is a few seconds before they noticed her she stood there for a few seconds before she was noticed by these two people frank and taplo frank come along taplo move slowly above the desk do not be so selfish as to keep a good joke to yourself oh don't hide that joke from me taplo 
Repeat that joke. Remember and tell me what the joke was. Tell the others. He breaks off suddenly, noticing Millie. Then as he started laughing, he turned and sees Millie Crocker Harris, Mr. Crocker Harris's wife, standing there. Immediately he stops his laughing. Oh Lord, he is a little bit shocked seeing Millie Crocker Harris. Then Frank turns quickly and seems infinitely relieved at seeing Millie. At the same time, he is relieved seeing Millie. Frank, oh, hello, Millie, without expression, hello. She comes down to the sideboard and puts her basket on it. Then she goes to the sideboard and puts her basket there. Tableau. Moving up to left of Frank, whispering frantically. Then Tableau also sees Millie. And now he whispers frantically to Frank. Do you think she heard? Do you think that she has heard all that we made here? Because they couldn't notice at what time she entered there. He was afraid. Then Frank shakes his head comfortingly. Millie takes off her cape and hangs it on the hall stand. I think she did. To make the child, to make the boy a little bit nervous, he said, I think she heard. She was standing there quite a time. Yes, she was there quite a time. Definitely, she must hear it. Tableau. If she did, and she tells him, if she heard it, definitely she will tell this to Crocker Harris. There goes my remove. Then I am not going to get my remove. Then I am not going to get my promotion, he said. Frank, nonsense. Then he crosses to the fireplace. Millie takes the basket from the sideboard, moves above the table and puts the basket on it. Meanwhile, Millie Crocker Harris takes out the basket from the sideboard and keeps it on the table. Millie to Tableau. Waiting for my husband? Are you waiting here for my husband? Then Tableau. Moving down left of the table. Yes. Millie. He is at the bazaars and might be there quite a time. If I were you, I should go. He is still at the bazaars and he might take a little more time. If I were you, which means if I were in your place, I should go. Then Tableau, doubtfully. He said most particularly, I was to come. But he said most particularly, I must come here. Millie, well, why don't you run away for a quarter of an hour? You do one thing for a quarter of an hour. You run away from here and come back. Then you come back. She unpacks some things from the basket. Then she started unpacking something from the basket. Tableau. Supposing he gets here before me. If Crocker Harris comes here before I come back. Then Millie, smiling, I will take the blame. You don't worry. That blame I will take. She takes a prescription out of the basket. Then what she did was she takes out a prescription, a doctor's prescription from the basket. I tell you what, you can do a job for him. 
So you do a job for your master, Crocker Harris. Take this prescription to the chemist and get it made up. You go with this prescription and go to a medical shop and buy the medicines prescribed in it. Prescription to the chemist and get it made up. Get it made up here means fulfill it and come back. Tableau. All right, Mrs. Crocker Harris. He crosses towards the door upright. He takes the prescription and goes out. Here ends the play. This is the explanation part of the drama. For more such interesting and valuable lessons, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon.